Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, H-55 Zero Emission Electric Airplane completes its first flight. NASA set to open newly restored Apollo Mission Control Center. And Skip Stewart Scratch from Dayton Air Show. Welcome, I'm Sophie Herlock. H-55 has successfully flown the Bristol Energic, a new two-seater electric airplane to be used for pilot training and flight schools. The airplane is powered by H-55's electric propulsion system and manufactured by BRM Aero. H-55 develops certified electric propulsion solutions and focuses on the entire propulsion chain to be certified CS23 starting from the energy source and its management through the thrust and power to pilot interface and control systems. It has an endurance of one and a half hours, providing 45 to 60 minutes of mission flight with enough reserves a typical training program for flight schools. The airplane has already received considerable interest from flight schools, airport resident associations, and aviation authorities. The H-55 is positioning the company and its home country of Switzerland to be an important player in electric propulsion and clean aviation. We'll be right back after these messages. Concorde's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concorde's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concorde, the heart of your aircraft. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some of the interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Quality Sports Planes is under new ownership. Ivan Gramala has taken over QSP as the new owner after the previous owner, Doug Duggar, retired after operating QSP for 10 years. Based at Cloverdale Municipal Airport in Northern California, the business was founded in 2005 as an independent distributor for Zenith Aircraft Company. Indigo has ordered CFM International Leap 1A engines to power 280 Airbus A320neo and A321neo aircraft. The contract, which includes spare engines and an overhaul support agreement, is valued at more than $20 billion. To support its new Leap 1A fleet, Indigo also signed a long-term service agreement. Indigo has been a CFM customer since 2016. The FAA has proposed a $715,438 civil penalty against Allegiant Air of Las Vegas for allegedly operating an aircraft on more than two dozen flights following improper engine maintenance. In October of 2017, Allegiant asked the FAA if it could deactivate an MD-80's functioning automatic reverse thrust system when the aircraft's engine exhaust gas temperature exceeds normal limits. The FAA in December of 2017 responded that deactivating the system would be improper unless the system caused the excess temperature, since the temperature exceedance could have other causes. A group of members of Congress from New York has written a letter to Acting FAA Administrator Daniel Elwell calling for a complete ban on non-essential helicopter flights over New York City. This comes after the June 10th accident, which resulted in the death of the pilot after he hit the roof of a Midtown building. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.
Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einem globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Fifty years ago, an unparalleled team of experts in a mission control center at NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston landed the first humans on the moon. To commemorate this accomplishment and to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing, the Apollo Mission Control Center has been restored to a pier as it did back then. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstein will officially reopen this newly restored facility at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time on Friday. The event will feature speakers from NASA and Space Center Houston Johnson's official visitor center, followed by a ribbon-cutting ceremony. The restoration included the Mission Operator Control Room, Visitor Viewing Room, Simulation Control Room, and the Summary Display Projection Room. The areas that make up the Apollo MCC are located in the Christopher C. Craft Mission Control Center at Johnson. The Vector and Dayton Air Show went on as scheduled this past weekend, but did so without a performance by veteran air show ace Skip Stewart. Stewart experienced an engine problem during a flight last Thursday, which forced him to land on an Ohio road about 15 miles short of Dayton International Airport, according to a report posted on LimaNews.com. Stewart was uninjured and his plane was undamaged in the incident, but the mechanical problems forced him to pull out of the show. The show featured the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds as the headline act. Organizers said the show drew in 62,000 people back in 2018 after falling to 44,000 the previous year. And that's it for us today. Don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And head over to aero-news.net for the latest aviation and aerospace news. Thanks for watching and tune back in tomorrow for an episode of the AMA Drone Report.